you know, ugly sweater award, like the worst fight of the year, like a bad fight that you could think of. Luki? Uh, two come to mind, Canelo versus Golovkin, when it was two rich old guys sparring for a lot of money, and you could tell that they were fighting for a lot of money, and neither really seemed to care about the outcome. Golovkin seemed like he was checking his 401k and his Vanguard money market account more so than being in the fight. Uh, honorable mention goes to Abner Morris's fight against a random person. Oh. I, he was a good fighter. I mean, that is no disrespect, but it was a guy that five or six years ago probably wouldn't have been competitive with Abner Morris, and Morris went to a draw, life or death. And it was one of those things where it's like Mares probably shouldn't be fighting. All right. Joe Beeb, talk to us. Well, uh, ugly sweater. I'm going to say Deontay Wilder versus Robert Hellenius. I just thought that's, that fight looked fishy to me. Didn't look right. So I'm going to have to say that was an ugly fight. Are, are you leaning it's still like a bad look? Or, or are you leaning? Yeah, it was legit. Wasn't legit. But how? How? Like, give me a percentage. Like, how sure are you? About ninety nine point nine. Can't be ninety nine point nine percent. It's impossible. I mean, I'm an outlier. I'm an outlier. Let me ask you this, Luki, and I'm I'm not trying to to, to sway yeah. you or, or or manipulate you in any way. But you've heard me talk about it and give my opinion on it. Did it make Did it make you think a little bit? Well, when I saw it, I was like, okay, Wilder hits really hard. And like I half watched it and I didn't really care. Then when you said it, I went back out of respect for you. And like when you look at it, you're like, okay, I slowed it. And so I got real nerdy, right? I put on my glasses. I mean, like I looked like I was breaking down the Zabruder film. Like I came over. What were the guys in the X-Files that hung out with Mulder? The nerdy guys that, that were like the losers. Remember. And they like if someone out there probably remembers it. But I was like in that world where I'm like. I'm, I'm hearing the X-Files music though. Yeah, see, like I'm caught. That what is what is that thing that people always say? They manifest it. And, and, and plus, Luki, you you've known me for a long time. Yeah. I'm not that guy that just comes out and says stupid, stupid, crazy shit like that. You know what I mean? No, I mean it's it's one of two things, right, Beeb? Wilder either hits freakishly hard to the point where like just he hits disproportionately hard, and I think he might just be hitting that hard, or this needs a serious explanation because it looked like a grazing blow. So the Wilder Hellenius fight is the ugly sweater award. Now, now you on this show on the roundtable actually said, "Well, you know he's going to do what he's got to do," and then you know, but you kind of insinuated it. Are you with Dave here? Like, like you believe like something happened? Like he hooked up his boy? You, you know, the the thing is, is I say no. no, to say no I, I gotta I gotta be with Beeb on this. Um, I think they'd get a cat sweater, one that doesn't fit and it's really ugly. Um, I didn't even bother with that fight. You know, I saw a little highlights here and there, but you know, we talked about it. His foreign partner, they know each other, you know, I, and he had to do this, you know, um, to get back in. I, yeah, I, I'm with me. Yeah, for sure. Al Money, thank you for that. Right. The Christmas ugly sweater, like the worst fight or performance of the year. Ah. Uh. I'll go recent, and once again, I might disturb some allies here, but Tiafimo Lopez's performance last weekend or the weekend before, okay. um, to me, that was ugly. Not the ugliest performance out there, but against expectations, um, I would just stay recent and go with that. Really quick, uh, to go against Ryan Garcia. That fight was atrocious. Okay? I forgot about that. That was a bad fight. Yeah, I, I, I have no interest in seeing a dude that doesn't want to fight fighting. Yeah. Was, right. I forgot about that one. Like, I, I just take, don't get it. Can I take my back? I just thought of sure. the, even the ugliest sweater ever. What's that? Jake Paul and Silva. <laughs> <laughs> Man. That was a bad. That was kind of a bad fight too. That, that sweater had holes in it. It's a lot of ugly, like holes and tamale stains on it, right? Yeah. So the, the good thing is it still has a tag on it, so you can return it. <laughs> yeah, but, but <laughs> and it costs like, like uh, I am like, what's the point of fighting if you're not gonna fight when it's time to fight? Like, what are you doing? Like, to go had no interest in, like, I'm a firm believer that if a guy's literally not wanting to fight, they should just stop it. And just yeah, they, could, they, could have, they actually could have disqualified him for non-engagement. Yeah, like, non-engagement is the most annoying thing. It's, it's like being a swimmer that doesn't get wet. Like, what are you doing here? Why, 